face it's Sarah and I'm back showing you how to make some more cool stuff using origami now this one is the most difficult so if you feel you need a bit more practice you can always go ahead to one of our previous videos and learn how to make a butterfly or a tulip or a crane or maybe even a bow so this next one guys is a lily so these ones are the most difficult but they're so so beautiful um so let's get started okay guys so we have a square piece of paper to make this i've also got a pencil so later we can make our petals on our lily but we have a square piece of paper and um, if you only have regular a4 paper that's fine um on our pre one of our previous videos which is how to make a butterfly i showed you how to do that so you can go ahead and check that out and see how you do it so what we want to do with this square piece of paper is we want to turn it into a diamond so um, from our previous videos you might know how to already do this but if you're new I'll just show you really slowly so we just fold it over make a crease open it up again fold it over make a crease and open it up again just like that turn it over and in the opposite direction we're going to just fold it lengthways make sure it's all lined up open it up and fold it lengthways again I find it there we go And then open it back out and to make it into a diamond we're just going to bring these two corners together give them a little pinch and we're just going to squash that down like that here we are so our next step is we're going to turn it over and with the closed edge towards us so we've got the open side and we've got the closed side with the closed sides and the closed edge we're going to fold it up to the centre like that I'm just going to take each one and we're just going to fold each closed side to the centre turn it over closed edge to the centre and again the closed edge to the centre just like that so now we have like a little kite so our next step is to take these little tabs we've created and we're going to tuck them in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up, we're just going to take one of our tabs and we're just going to tuck it in. It might be a little bit fiddly, we're just going to tuck it in like, oh, like that. There we go, so it's all hidden now we do the same on each side so again open it up and just tuck it in this can be a bit fiddly and um, so if you need help just ask next again open it up tuck it in and just fold it away open it up tuck it in and fold it away like that so next we're going to flip through it like a book sort of so we get these two open sides here I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to sort of make an awkward little like fold and then like a tuck so the way I like to do it is I just fold it first, just to help us along, like that, open it back out and then we're going to pull this tab forward here. And on each side we're going to fold it to the centre and this can be quite fiddly because you fold them in a couple places at the same time and then again fold it there to the centre and then we should have this little point I'm just going to tuck this little point here 
away into the centre. So what I just do is I just grab it and just pull it open like this and we're just going to take it and we're just going to tuck it away. Like, like that. Okay. And I've got to do the same on each one. And there's four of these so you have to do this four times. So again, fold it in. Again, I'm just gonna open it out. I'm gonna sort of fold it again to the centre. And then again on the other side, like this. Fold it to the centre. I'm just gonna fold it just to help guide it along a little bit. It's gone wonky. I don't know why it's gone wonky, but here we go. Now we're just gonna take that and we're just gonna Tuck it away. Uh oh. Made a funny crease in the paper. There we go. We just sort of tuck it away. Like that. There we go. And then again on the other two. Okay, so once you've done that guys, what we're going to do is we're going to flip through it like a book again. So we get these just plain diamond sides here. So again, just fold through like that. And we're just going to take our closed edge and we're just going to fold to the centre. Fold to the centre. On both sides. And we do this four times again, because we've got four sides to do this on. Fold to the centre and fold to the centre. And then on the last two, I'm just going to tuck them away. Okay, so we have these little sort of tabs at the top and we're very close to this becoming our flower now. So we're going to take a pencil or a pen or a straw, whatever you've got, that you can use to just roll these up. Roll it up and let it out. See? And again, take it, roll it up and just let it out. I just threw that at myself. Oops, see? And then again, roll it up like that and just uncurl it. And then last one, roll it up like that and curl it and then there we are and if you find the R2 curly guy you can just take your finger and you can just run it along slightly and it just helps straighten them out a bit that one doesn't want to go there we go and there is our lily I hope you guys have enjoyed following me along on this tutorial and I hope you've made some wonderful lilies at home so if you do make these at home guys I would love to see them please tag us on Instagram at vibebootle or at conquer life UK and I hope you have enjoyed this mini series of how to do some origami bye guys <laughs>